In our last Honduras video, we gave you a more in-depth look at where we're staying as we wait for the travel restrictions to ease and the borders to reopen. So every Monday, actually, take a step back. Every Sunday is a no news, no social media day. So every Monday, we take a look at the news, the coronavirus news, world news as regards to the coronavirus, and certain websites that will tell us if the borders have reopened and if the travel restrictions have eased. So I'll show you that. The first thing we always try to look at is the Honduras specific COVID-19 website. A lot of information on it. Like to make sure we're all caught up with the Honduras information. The next thing we like to check worldometers. We will check the United States and then we'll scroll down and find Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador and check out those pages as well. Then we'll check a couple of government pages. We like to check the U.S. Embassy for Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador, England's embassy messages regarding Honduras. much five or six days out of seven I'm working on videos or posting mostly working on videos though Kobe she doesn't like you what are you doing Mr. Crazy <laughs> oh you're making tortillas no oh <laughs> what are you making Making pasta. That's my first noodle. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's gonna be like a pie. Yeah. A lasagna pie. Can you get me pasta sauce? Ooh, get the asparagus. Oh, okay. That'd be really good in it. Really good. Too bad you can't smell it. Are you trying to stitch the hammock back together? Do one part. We made a pretty good dent in our food after four weeks. This is what we have left. If we could go another couple weeks. But as you can see, we have one egg left. He's almost out of coffee. We have used a lot of rice because of the dog, but we... Kofi! I'll show you what we have left in the fridge, in the freezer. We still have lots of apples and some oranges. We ate all the veggies. And then in the freezer, we have pretty much nothing except a another glacier. Tim made all the meat. We are going to go out tomorrow. It's going to be a brand new store that we're going to. No idea what they're going to have, so that's kind of exciting. And we don't know if we have to go through a police checkpoint, but we will try to videotape that as well. Since 
San Marcos de Colón is a small town in southern Honduras and is the first town you encounter after you cross the border from Nicaragua. Based on the last number of your formal identification card, in our case, our passports, each person can go out one time in two weeks. Today is the day for people of nines, and I am a nine. Unlike going to Choluteca, this time we didn't have an official police checkpoint, but we did have a disinfectant checkpoint. The guy disinfects Reggie's tires, and another guy makes you put your feet into a disinfectant tray, and then you disinfect your hands. These guys were super nice uh, on the way out into town, and so we gave them some Oreos when we came back through. So we decided to take a walk today. We thought we would take a walk down to the lake. Jared and Noelia both said there was a lake down here and it's about 25 minute walk. We decided to go a little bit early so we didn't get rained on. And Tim is looking at a coffee plant, taking some pictures of coffee beans because this is a working coffee finca. On the rocks. Oh, fish. fish? Oh no, those are tadpoles. Oh really? Yeah. Not cool like it. I go farther. I think we made it to the lake.
this week with some hummingbird antics. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to our channel if you are not already. Next week, we hope to have another Reggie video for you, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you. Bye.